Hey, how's it going? I'm Nate Kunzer, and today I'm going to show you how to put together your high vamp. First thing you're going to want to do is take off this travel protector. This guy's here just to make sure while you're shipping, it stays nice and safe. Don't want anything popping up while you're shipping. This guy's going to pop up. Don't worry about it. And now you're going to have three screws in this piece of metal. I strongly recommend you save it. In case you have to ship a guy anywhere. Always helpful. Now you can put on your panel, your operating panel. In order to do that, you just line up this white line with the white line on this plug. Slide that guy on in. And then bottom first, then top, you'll hear it click. Then you're good to go with that guy. After that, you're gonna to wanna to take your vapor tube in your vapor tube sleeve. Slide that guy on over. Pull it tight so you get the click. And then grab your swing clamp. You can just slide that guy right in the swing clamp. And then with your swing clamp, take it while pushing the locking button. Screw it on over. And that guy will stay put. Following that, you can grab your evaporating flask. Unscrew the bottom half of the swing clamp slightly. Slide that guy on. Close the swing clamp. And tighten him back. And that guy won't fall off. Very good. Now, you're going to want to take your seal. It's got two sides. One saying condenser, one saying drive. Drive is the inside side. Slide that guy over your vapor sleeve, or your vapor tube. And then, grab your condenser. In this case, it's a G3. Grab your screwing clamp. Put that guy over there first. Followed by tension spring. That'll prevent this guy from falling off. Slide that guy right on over your vapor tube. Tighten that screw. There you have it. Condenser is attached. However, we like to make sure that it is nice and firm. So in order to do that, you're going to want to take this support rod along with your Allen key. Pop flat side down into this hole and then tighten the screw. in order to make sure it won't pop up. Once you've done that, you can grab the support rod clamp, pull that guy on over, then tighten the screws on it, make sure it stays put. That's just a little added safety. Make sure while it's running, it does not fall off. Very important. Now, you're gonna to wanna to take the things that go into your condenser, first being your stopcock, slide that into the right side, all the way into your evaporating flask. Uh, if the tube is too long, you can always cut it a little shorter. No problem there. That's supposed to happen. Then we're going to put in our inlet tube. Go to unscrew this screw, and inside the screw, you will find a blue seal. Well, just like that. You're going to have the screw over your tube and pull the blue seal about an inch down. Pulling this guy back up and screwing him back. We're going to put in the vacuum fitting. You're going to want the screwing connectors facing back. Easy, just like that. Now, I'm going to take your receiving flask along with the receiving flask clamp. Put them right at the bottom. Open up your clamp. Slide it on over. And now you're going to see this screw right here. Tighten it so that the clamp will not open. Once we've gotten that down, we're going to put on this bath. You're going to want the hide off logo facing forward, and you want the tracks to line up. That'll fit on nicely, and on the base unit, you've got this plug, which fits right on the back of the bath. Screw them on, it's good to go. But if you want your unit to work, obviously you're going to need to plug it in. That one's simple as well, right in the back of the unit. Plug that guy in. Any outlet that fits this plug, just like so. And there you have it. Now, with the three-year warranty that comes with this product, you're gonna to need to register it on the website. The three things you're gonna need are the serial number on your panel, which is right in the back, the serial number on your base unit, which is right here, and the serial number on your bath, which is also right here. 
That is how you assemble the high bat. Thank you very much.